It all started six months ago. I got a call from Jenny. She wanted me to make a documentary to try to change those habits in society that harm animals. The first thing I thought of were ham sandwiches, chicken croquettes, and fried eggs. I also thought that apart from food, my life probably wasn't causing much harm to the animal kingdom, which I consider myself a great friend of. But Jenny told me that on a normal day, I sleep on feather pillows, shower with products tested on mice, dress with sheep's wool, and wear cowhide shoes, and I haven't even left home yet. Or in other words, on a normal day, I sleep on feather pillows, shower with products tested on mice, dress with sheep's wool, and wear cowhide shoes. So here I was, reviewing the first interviews, I had begun filming to make a documentary that would change the habits of society as a whole. The uh, United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has said that the livestock industry produces more greenhouse gases than the entire transport industry. Donde comen 10 personas con dieta vegetariana o quasi vegetariana, apenas comen una o dos con una dieta muy muy carnívora, ¿no? This costs nothing. It's just that we sh we shouldn't use animals. We just have to leave to cause suffering. It seems easy enough, but there was one problem. I wasn't committed to the cause. And if I was to send out a message supporting the well-being of all animals, first, I had to convince myself. ¿Por dónde empezamos? Lana. Más lana. Más lana. What we should do, in a word, is stop inflicting unnecessary suffering on non-human animals. And I think the single most important step that every individual can take is to stop consuming those animals. No, doy leche porque he parido un ternero. Ahora, si me lo quitan solo nacer, tendré leche en las ubres y si me estimulan cada día, pues sigo dando leche durante al menos 10 meses. Hay muchas personas que no obran de mala fe, sino por desconocimiento. Desconocen, por ejemplo, cómo eh, opera la industria agroalimentaria. Se nos oculta información, está clarísimo. Las industrias que explotan los animales no quieren que, que los veas. En Cataluña hay más cerdos que personas. ¿Tú has visto alguna vez un cerdo? No. Y hay más cerdos que personas. Ya están bien cerraditos en sus naves industriales que no tienen ni ventanas. Las ventanas que tienen están cerradas. No les interesa que se sepan. Deberíamos cambiar radicalmente tantos hábitos de conducta que es mucho más cómodo no mirar. Las premisas morales ya las teníamos claras. Lo que nos faltaba era información. 